Hello friends of the Ojai. Today would have been opening day of the Ojai 120th tennis tournament. As you all know, it was canceled this year, like so many other events, because of the threat of the spread of a novel coronavirus. The atmosphere at the Ojai Tennis Festival, as I like to call it, is like no other tournament, where volunteers, fans, families, and players alike enjoy high quality tennis in a small town atmosphere. It's a tournament where juniors play alongside collegiate players, top Pac-12 players, and open players. I will miss so much about this tournament this year, like seeing my fellow volunteers and housing the Utah women players. I will miss the smell of fresh paint on the bleachers at Libby Park and seeing yellow mums on the courts. I will miss pouring tea at the tea tent and drinking fresh squeezed Ojai orange juice while I watch exceptional matches of my favorite sport. I will miss the pageantry of the trophy presentations. However, the Ojai isn't going anywhere, and before you know it, we will be back celebrating the great traditions of the Ojai. Just like Wimbledon, the Ojai last halted play during World War II. We pause and we'll take a break this year. We hope you can join us for the Ojai's 120th in 2021. Hello, Ojai tennis community. Uh, it's with great sadness that we're not gonna be with you this year. Um, some of the best memories we have in college tennis have, have been at Ojai. Um, I'm gonna miss uh, I'm gonna miss tea in the afternoon. I'm gonna miss orange juice in the mornings. I'm gonna miss some great spirited matches uh, for the Pac-12 championships, but also seeing our Pac-12 host families and friends and the community that we've built there over the years. Uh, we're really gonna miss you this year, uh, but we're, we're we're looking forward to coming back next year. Take care. Go Bears. Dick Gould, Stanford University. As a player, Ventura Junior High, Ventura High School, Stanford University. As a coach, Foothill Junior College, Stanford University, even as a broadcaster. 50 years in the Ojai Valley, the beautiful land of fresh orange juice and tennis. Can't wait to 2021. Hi, my name is Stacy Markle and Potter, and I just wanted to say I'm going to miss the Ojai tournament this year. I have so many memories from there as a player, um, starting back uh, 50 years ago when I was 12 years old, uh, 13, 11 years old, uh, watching my brother play uh, for USC and then winning a few titles myself and um, now housing the USC girls for 20 years. So. Um, We'll be back next year drinking that orange juice and sipping that tea. See you later. Hi, my name's Sandy White and I am on the board of the Ojai Valley Tennis Club that sponsors the Ojai Valley Tennis Tournament. And you know, I just have to say I am going to miss it so much this year. My family and I have been involved for over 30 years since we moved to the Valley in so many different capacities as volunteers. More recently, I've become on the board and helping out a lot with the fundraising. And if I think about what I'll miss the most, it's, uh, you know, I can say, oh, wow, it was great meeting Tracy Austin. It was great meeting Stan Smith and Rod Laver and seeing the Bryan brothers play or, you know, so many wonderful memories like that. But also I worked at Libby Desk for a long time and that's where all of the players come to register and check in and meeting the players, meeting their coaches. It's just been great. It's it's almost becomes like every year you see them and it's such a, hey, how are you doing? And you know, you care about each other. And probably another thing that's a, a memory for me is my daughter got to play in the tournament years ago. So all of those things are just such wonderful memories and things that I'll miss this year. But generally speaking, the things that I'll miss the most are probably just the people. There are so many wonderful people from our community that love the tournament, they get involved, they are passionate about it, as are as my family and I are. And I'll miss seeing all of their faces, just hanging out at the tournament and having a great time and visiting the tea tent and working in the tea tent. So um, we'll miss seeing you all and I look forward so much to celebrating the 120th with you all next year. I'm Tracy, this is Sean, this is Brandon, and we were absolutely heartbroken when Ojai was canceled this year. It's become a family tradition the last seven years to go up there at the end of April. We absolutely love the fact that the town of Ojai just embraces the tournament, and it's a tournament that everybody wants to be at. We're really going to miss it.
Yeah, this would have been my third time playing Ojai, and not only is it a tradition for our family, but I think all of tennis in Southern California likes to go up there, and it's truly a tennis mecca, and everyone's gonna miss it. Yeah, this would have been my eighth season at Ojai. Um, what's really special about it is the family atmosphere that it brings. Um, also, just the tennis is just so high level, and the atmosphere that's created at Libby Park is so special. So I hope that everyone can stay safe, and uh, hope to see you guys, and our family will be back in uh, next year. Hey friends, Darren Pocky talking to you from Marietta, Georgia. As much as I love being home, I wish I was at Libby Park today, watching the great tennis, enjoying the orange juice and tea, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you at Libby Park next year. One of the great highlights and honors of my life was I was asked to chief uh, the Ojai Tournament, which was my local event growing up in Ventura. It was an honor, I accepted it. I appreciate being asked and look forward to seeing everybody next year in 2021. Hi there, this is Heather Vaughn with the Pac-12 Conference. Uh, just sending a message of love and hope to all of our friends in Ojai. Really gonna miss the event this year. It's uh, one of our favorites. Um, gonna miss the fresh squeezed pixie juice every morning and the delicious tea and cookies in the afternoon. We're gonna miss all of the just amazing competition that happens on the court uh, from the student athletes and athletes and how they just leave it all out there uh, with every match. The passion of the fans uh, in the stands cheering everybody on and just the sense of community that the Ojai brings. But what I'm gonna miss the most are the volunteers that put it together. All the smiles everybody has from security to the media hut to um, even the officials. It's just such a amazing event like no other. Um, already dreaming about next year, can't wait to be back. But until then, let's stay healthy and happy, keep our chins up and we'll see you soon. We're living in uncertain times right now, but one thing is certain, the Ojai Tennis Tournament will be back next year along with the beloved tea tent, the orange juice, the Ojai Pixies, and most importantly, the tennis. So join us in 2021 for the Ojai Tennis Tournament. In the meantime, stay healthy and be safe. See you then, bye. We're contemplating uh, the 2020 tournament, which will not be held. I will miss most the ability to get out in the Ojai Valley and the beautiful weather travel from one end of town to the other and see nothing but top flight tennis from Thatcher School for the boys high school events to the athletic club and the Weill Academy for the Pac-12 to Libby Park, walk up the bike path, see the open play at the Ojai Valley Inn. I miss all of it and we will have it next year and I hope everybody comes and enjoys it then. Hello, my name is George Conrad and I am a member of the Board of Directors of the Ojai Valley Championships. I would like to share a small historical note with you. Other than the years in the 1940s when our country was at World War, the Ojai Valley Tennis Tournament has been canceled only one other time. That was in 1924 when Southern California was experiencing an epidemic of hoof and mouth disease. Local health officials asked that the tournament be canceled in respect for players and fans' health much as what has happened this year. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that this tournament began in 1896, only two cancellations other than World War, makes it pretty impressive. So we will see you next year when the Ohio will be even bigger and better than ever. Stay safe. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Weil. Uh, the Wild Tennis Academy here in Ojai, beautiful Ojai Valley. And uh, we're here sheltering in place in Ojai. And um, I'm here today with former champions, Emmett Potter, 2019 champion, 2019 champion, Velizara Fileva, and uh, 2018 finalist, Ayato Arakaki, and uh, 2018 finalist, Takeyasu. So we're here, we're, you know, we're gonna miss this year's Ojai, but we're, we're so happy to be here in the Ojai Valley and healthy. And uh, I asked my students, what do you guys miss so much about the Ojai this year? Emmett? Uh, I'm gonna miss the atmosphere of the tournament overall. Yeah? Nelly um, Zara? I'm definitely gonna miss yeah. watching Pac-12 matches. Ayato? I'm gonna miss the energy of the Ojai tournament. Yeah. Take? I'll miss the opportunity to play in front of my whole wild family. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna miss it a lot this year, but we're so 
happy again to be here. We're gonna we're looking forward to 2021 and the 120th Ohio, baby. Go Ohio! When people ask me what I miss most about this year's Ohio tennis tournament, it's really this weekend. This weekend is uh, just before the tournament's ready to begin and all the planning and discussion for the tournament is over and we're now executing. So we have over 500 volunteers in the tournament and they're all scrambling around and running around, making sure that the courts are washed, the nets are put up, the tea tent's all set with all the cookies in it, the orange juice is being squeezed, the scaffolding's put up, the tents are put up, and all the preparations are making for a great event for the players as well as the fans. So I'm very sad this weekend, but also excited after talking with many of the volunteers. Everybody is just renewed enthusiasm to make next year's event even bigger and better. So be safe, be vigilant, and we look forward to having you up in Ojai for next year's tournament. Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Ojai. I wish I were able to be welcoming you to the 120th Ojai Tennis Tournament. We were so disappointed to have to cancel our tournament this year, but I do want to take a moment to acknowledge and thank the over 600 volunteers who worked so hard this year to create a tournament that would be memorable for our players and our spectators. And when we're through this health crisis, we'll get back together and we'll start planning for the 120th Ojai Tennis Tournament to be held in April 2021. So stay safe and take good care of yourselves because we look forward to seeing you in Ojai next April. Take care everyone, we'll see you then.